to throw you to the council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. Well, he's a lovely man, isn't he? And we are back on the Normandy. Why am I always starting that with that phrase? I don't know. I mean this with that phrase. I don't know and I just knocked my microphone because I'm an idiot. Right. Back. Welcome back to Mass Effect. It is still freaking boiling. And now I've moved to my normal recording setup. It's just as hot as hot now if not hotter right let us see just what we were going to do we were going to go to the citadel first i've decided instead of going straight to ferris we're going to go to the citadel and just finish or oh, push the wrong button and just go and um get some more side quests and finish some citadel specific quests while we're at it so citadel travel there oh your eyes warm and i can't find a place to put the fan Uh, the fan that I had on earlier to keep this room with some nice circulating cold air. So what I might do is just quickly go and set it to circulate instead of um, just sit there blowing in sort of the direction of the mic. And while I was moving the fan, well, getting it to move, my uh, controller died because, like I said earlier, this plane charge kit is terrible. So, I need to get a new one. It doesn't hold a charge anymore, which is annoying. Pretty much. I need to pretty much have my controller plugged in 24-7. <sighs> Joy. Right. Citadel. Might have to op open the window as well. It's ab I'm absolutely melting. Right, I have no real idea where these last few keepers are, because that's one of the reasons I wanted to go back to the Citadel, was to finish off the uh, Scan the Keepers mission quest. Oh, I'm going to have to... Oh, I'm absolutely melting. It is not fun. <sighs> this melting is not fun. Although, turning up the fan, actually getting it to blow cold air around, to circulate cold air, is really yeah. cool. Really cooling this room down. So, if you excuse me, right, I'm back after having a go at my dog because he is an annoying 
thing sometimes. Right. Uh, double the trouble now. I've got the fan at full, windows open. It should start to get a lot cooler in here very quickly. It's so warm. We even had a thunderstorm last night and it didn't even clear the air. It did nothing. So that's good. Right. Command, how are you? Why did you want to be a C-Sec officer in the first place? Hmm. That's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. That's tough. But you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Saren. My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger, for the same reasons. You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. But Saren's not going to play by our rules, CSEC's rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Just because you can break the rules doesn't mean you should. I don't need to stoop to Saren's level to stop him. And neither do you, Garrus. I see what you mean, but... I'll think about it. You damn should. <laughs> right. Well, fun. Right. Looking for supplies? I'm like B. Let's see what you got. You bet, Commander. Still cannot afford any of this. Maybe late game. Oop, no buy. Or though, I could and probably should get rid of all of this. So. Why am I singing Mr. Sandman? I don't know. I'm just doing it. Right. <laughs> Mr. Sandman, give me a dream. Dum -bum -bum -bum. Anyway. Yeah. So. Done. Look now can I afford supplies. anything? I don't know. I might be. Let's see what you got. You bet, Commander. I just realised we're not. At, mm, still, just giving me a bit of money. Huh. Okay. I can afford. Mm, I do. Ah, this is what I want. This gives me back all my grenades. So we'll buy that and buy that. Thank you. Right. First things first. We're just going to have a quick check on Tally. Make sure she's okay back here. Something I can do for you, Commander. Uh, no, Adams. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Um. Tally. Oh, hello, Shepard. Are you okay? I don't know. Your ship is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me, especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? The silence wakes you up? Back on the flotilla, the last thing you want to hear is silence. It means an engine's died or an air filter shut down. I guess you don't have to worry about that here. But old habits die hard. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, 
I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. <laughs> Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have till it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually. But we have to stop Saren first. Otherwise, I might not have a home to go back to. Hmm. I should go. Right, well. With that done, let's actually go down to the Citadel and do what we were going to do. <laughs> right. Uh, that's great. We'll just talk to Ashley as well. Uh, b b b b b Anka and Rex. Rexy, Rexy, Rex. So, we've got Saren on the run. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. <laughs> good. He's rotten to the core. Dun, dun, dun. I could tell as soon as I met him. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open. And he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. That's it? That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. I see. So long, Rex. Shepard. And then, just before we go do Ash, do Ashley, yes, yes. No, before we go speak to Ashley, I'm just going to check something. Yeah, it's on. Turn, what? It's just a really weird effect, and it just... Ugh. Brighter image, there are contrast. <gasps> nope, no, no, no. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, save selections and exit. Thank... It's just a really weird feature. Like, that's better. It doesn't have that grainy effect, and I don't know why that's a default feature. Like, it's not artistic. It's just weird. Anyway. Commander. Here we go. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One-on-one? -on -one? Sure. I, I was hoping to get a minute of your time. Off the record. Not for a person, the chat gone. I keep an open-door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. Alright. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm, I'm concerned about the aliens. Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? They may not serve the Alliance Chief, but they're allies. At least as far as Saren goes. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons... You're out of line! <laughs> you don't trust the Alliance as allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. We... Humanity. 
We have to learn to rely on ourselves. Standing up for ourselves doesn't mean standing alone. I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. Mm. As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. You got a pessimistic view of the universe, Williams. A pessimist is what an optimist calls a realist. Look, if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's not racism, not really. Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. These seem like deeply held beliefs, Williams. What made you think this way? My family's defended the Alliance since it was founded. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. All right, I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams, but this is a multilateral mission. You're gonna have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Turian, I'll ask which cheek. I don't think kissing Turians will be necessary. You never know, Commander. Uh, mm, yeah, I guess. But the only one who would be kissing a... I'm going to turn off the motion blur because it's just horrible, right? Um, options. Graphics, not sound. Really? Huh. Right, um, graphics. I've just looked over at the time <laughs> to see just how long this was taking me. I haven't done anything and it's been nearly 18 minutes and I haven't done anything. I've just been uh, sitting here talking to different crew members. But, you know, this is what makes Mass Effect so good is the the characters and interacting with said characters. But anyhow, let's actually go to the Citadel when this slow-ass elevator gets there. Uh, gets to the next deck and then we go up the stairs. Yeah. Anyway, and then we'll go to the Citadel and continue by doing some side questing that's and other blobbles and globbles and flobbles and I have no idea what I'm saying anymore. Right. Ugh. Right, open. I'm going to push A, B, X and Y at the same time. That's weird. Right, uh, right. Run, Captain. Run, Shepard. Need to get off this ship. Right. Into the airlock. Exit Normandy. Right. We're going to take Liara. And we will take... Not that we're going to do anything on there. So we'll just take... We'll just take Rex. Yeah. Except... Equalizing interior pressure with exterior. We need to get you some arm some armor X. A squad advanced warp and that's it, that's all you've unlocked. Okay. Right, let's see if we can't work out landing officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Where the uh keepers are that we've scanned. I think I scanned this keeper. I have. Just get some. Let's do this and get some thingies. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, Fifth Fleet. Commander Shepard, SSV Normandy. You don't know who I am, do you, Commander? I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. Then the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. Hmm. You still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. Well, he's a lovely man, isn't he? The Normandy is a fine ship, sir. She's served us well so far. It's a gimmick, Commander. Useless in a stand-up fight. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. We'd be honored to show her to you, Admiral. I'll just bet. 
Wait here. I won't be long. You better know. Commander, I'm not happy. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? This is a a good way of getting um thingies. Paragon points. In the middle of them, we wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm, reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless! We can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy could be more effective than the Solarian STG. Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. We're supposed to find and kill the enemy fleet, not count how many times their garrison goes to the bathroom. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't win hearts and minds. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't been proven yet. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? I do like these um, intimidate options, even though I can't pick them, but we need to kick ass! But no. None, sir. Very well. I don't agree with any of this, but your reasons seem sound. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. And off he rode into the sunset, never to be seen again.